What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Empire of Great Britain. So to remind you, remind you where we left off, we had this Russian force marching from St. Petersburg onwards to our troops here at Riga and our army is going to march up into the jaws of death and defeat them and push them back to the former uh, Russian capital. So without further ado, let's crack on and take them out. They've got lots of cavalry, which isn't a problem. They've got some good infantry, but they have no artillery, so our uh, guns should do some good damage and they will be quite a good uh, differentiator and a good enabler of victory on the field for our forces. Hold on, I'll do a bit of... Move some pens off my desk. Where my pens are sat, that's where my mouse needs to go. Okay. So I think we are going to go on the offensive. So my guns might end up being deployed in a position where they can provide supporting fire. Let's keep my grenadiers the Welsh Grenadiers, first and second, together on the left. They're going to have a mixture of cavalry to support. I think we can send some infantry units straight forward. One infantry unit in my clansmen can go through the town, backed up with some other cavalry. My general is going to go on the left, that's where the bulk of our forces are. In which case, these guys might actually combine to form a, a position on the on this flank. First of all, let's run my infantry up so I can... So my flank over here actually has some support. Clansmen evolve. Ultimately, they've got lots of cavalry, but it can we can break it. Let's get that infantry involved as well. It's, it's, it's going to be a big dog pile here with a lot of my a lot of their cavalry coming in. Yeah, the regiment of horse isn't doing so well. My Highlander warband, even though it says they're losing, they're losing men at a fast rate. As long as they don't lose men any, any faster than they are. You bombard the 19th. You guys can try bombard someone in the town. So these men push up. Get ready to engage the 2nd Grenadier Regiment. Whoa! I knew it. I clicked them in. Get my dragoons, my regiment of horse, and my Highlanders out. Let's crank it forward a little bit more so they're not shooting into the combat. There's a light, there's a Hussar regiment out here that's upset. I really don't want these, these infantry to get involved, I want them to push up. Clansmen, stand back. Let's engage their cavalry.
let's hope they these guys do what they did and turn around. Charge into the Hussars. We're going to win this infantry combat, cavalry combat on the left. Crank these infantry around. You guys, yeah, you guys are also deploying into square and throwing my clansmen in. My infantry there broke, which is understandable, but the tenth are in a better position. You can try chase down the nineteenth regiment. I need to maximise my use of this wing. Make sure I'm getting my cavalry out of dodge. Let's make sure I'm retargeting my artillery to fire into this mass of men. So I push you guys up to there. You guys up to there. You can just fire. Start firing through the gap. you guys up. Okay, we've won the cavalry fight. So let's get my men in a position to start either chasing down or um, either chasing down or destroying some of the troops we've got left on the field. We're getting some good shots off. As long as our gunners can get a good you guys aren't even shooting. Sometimes it's a line of sight thing. Come on, beat the regiment of horse. All those guys get out of the way because they're pretty weak. Russian Tsar Guards. The warband can march over here, but my cavalry needs to run over and get stuck in. Don't really want them to, because we've got good firepower. Hit the Tsar guards in the rear. Let's change our gunners to make sure they all attack this unit of marines. Let's bring our cavalry in. Let's try break this unit of Tsar guards first. We're one of our units have routed, so our reinforcements from another, from uh, one well, of the cities is coming up to play. No, keep attacking the general's bodyguard. My cavalry are riding into the back of these Cossacks, which I'd ho I'm hoping will upset them. Good, run our infantry across. My general needs to go. Not my general, my Brunswick Dra Dragoons need to hit the 4th Regiment. You men make up a gun line there. You guys stand here ready to charge in. My clansmen get involved in the cavalry combat. Let's get my Grenadiers involved in something.
You men charge on into the Marines. You guys charge on into the 4th Regiment. Grenadiers. Charge in. You guys charge in. Because now we've got them surrounded. And they're broken. General's chasing down Hussars. So to everyone who isn't cavalry, just march them out of the way. Oh, they've got a hidden unit somewhere. Oh no, they don't. But we are going to continue. I don't want them to remain on the battlefield. But I want to destroy as many of these units because they are elite units. And speed up time. Uh, you guys. Ah, the Tsar Guard. There's only one of them left. Uh, you guys chase down. Help this cavalry unit chase down these mercenaries. Because there is a unit all the way over there. Oops. But I don't want to chase them down because they're too far away. I may as well help them all chase down an existing unit they can actually reach. Oh, right. My gun has shot my uh, cavalry. <laughs> That's why they're now upset. Come on. See, they're quite well spread out, but we are hoovering them up. Especially now. <laughs> oh, God. Some of them are really far away. Look at that. Damn it. You might win this one, little Russian. But you won't win them all. But there we go. A much bloodier battle than I would have liked. But they've been repulsed. You men can replenish with whatever you can. Let's take some of our most depleted infantry. And drop them back. I mean, roughly our most depleted infantry. Drop them back in the city and let's pick up some fresh reinforcements. Forward! March! Good stuff. Yeah, we can destroy them. March onwards to Vilnius. We also need to keep A keep or keep upgrading our economy. We've got lots of troops in the in the Americas we can make use of, which we are not currently doing. So you get Militia, Bowman, plus two more units. That's what these grade six sections represent. Two more garrison troops. Uh, hmm. So you haven't repaired Antigua, which means they'll be very unhappy with me for much longer, because I don't have any don't have as much repression, I would imagine. I need to keep building roads. To be honest, I need to keep building roads. I need to. I just need to keep earning money. Enter. In the My spy is on to Moscow. The Ottomans are wrecking havoc at, on, on the seas. Russians have formed up another army, which we will hopefully destroy on the battlefield. Hmm. So I've got lots of territories in the Americas I can take. I've got I'm at war with the French, I'm at war with the new Spanish. <gasps> Spain's taken Paris. The fools. I don't. Well, I, if I'm at war with New Spain, I'm probably at war with Spain. But I was hoping to see. Um, 
I was hoping to see uh, a future where the a future where the uh, the Spanish are the, one of the major powers on the continent. I'm not actually at war with them, but I'm at war with their protectorate, so fat chance of that. So you guys can now spend a four four grand replenishing. Okay, let's hop over to the Americas. I mean, I, I mean, I need to do something with you guys. So let's get a ship from Plymouth. Let's do a bit of a road building. Enterprise, I mean, Quebec. The Canadian roads are all upgraded. Niagara isn't. There we go. Just keep building roads. Actually, I might cancel one road. I wasn't going to build that road, but I was going to repair the governor's encampment. Let's upgrade the road and let's knock down this shipyard. We'll start to get some more sugar, especially high yield sugar, out into the into the economy. I've got 100 cash, which isn't enough to really do anything apart from a bit of minor replenishment. So you go, all right, whoever, whatever you've got. Oh, none of their units can be replenished with 100 Odd cash. How much merge are you guys together? Yeah. Um, Chikasa at the back. Can you guys leave? You can. You men march up to Savannah. A whole bunch of farms. Good. That will, that will help build up our, like, our economic baseline. That's how I like to treat. <gasps> Wait a minute, France is all over the 13 colonies? That doesn't make sense. But the Spanish have taken Paris. Do I have any rakes on the continent? Nope. Well, on the in, on my uh, homeland, the answer is no. But here are some of our ships from our first Baltic fleet. How goes our tech? Okay. You don't go for steam um, steam pump drainage. You instead go for longitude watch to increase the distance that our ships can travel because they, they should be making it all the way to Memel without having to stop. I mean, we've not added any more ships for recruitment, but that's because we have other priorities for how we use the money. I mean, it's pretty important that I keep replenishing that Russian army so I can keep driving forward. Like I said, if I take St. Petersburg, then Russia loses its bases in bases that cover the Black Sea. Spain is now uh, being... Ah, oh, I thought that was going to happen. Withdraw. I don't want to fight them. Oh, no. Uh, they are going to chase me down. Sadly. Boop. We Hurrah! The way. <laughs> That's what happens. We lured you into a sense of false security. Oh, providing reinforcements. I didn't miss that Spain is now blockading at one of our ports, which means we probably... Those ships we recruited to become the Baltic fleet are instead probably going to be part of our home raiding squadrons. We want to keep those ports in the channel either occupied or damaged. funny really watching like you think how much time you spend watching great empires make their decisions and the game's still like yeah, bah, bah, barbary states have got to do their thing as well doing a lot of piracy and the thing is they're not very good ships either they're absolute tin cans so if you wanted to fight them and destroy them and make them blow up dead easy But I'm not at war with them, so why should I bother? 
And the answer is I'm not going to. So we earned, we earned a bunch of money, a bunch of cash from our empire as it exists. Good, our spy is now in, into Moscow. Let's go take our home fleet and just smash up the Spanish. It's only a sixth rate. Paloma, Indiana. Ooh, full stack. So let's get these ships inside. One full stack. It's got some lots of elite troops. And Nelson, the, tra the traitor. Okay, so let's do something like... Let's get the sloop insurgent blocking Le Havre. Le Havre. Let's get... Sloop Britannia. Raid Brest. Good. Um, okay, limited money, limited money, limited money. New port emerges. Churchill, finally. We can now add some extra pelts to the international market. Um, hmm. In some ways it's a blessing. We've got loads of stuff to spend money on, but in other ways it's also a curse. What I think I do want to do first is pick up some sixths to keep doing this raiding against the northern coast of Spain. To be honest, I think I might just have to focus on upgrading things in Britain first because they will provide us ultimately with the long with the biggest income in the long run. Like London is a really is a booming city. So I want to keep that going, I think. Smiths have been constructed in Swansea. Okay. You really need a general. Let's take this native infantry out of position. New men. Okay. Embark. To be honest... We're at war with New Spain. It's tempting to try and... Caracas is a, is a good strategic hold because it's a major city to the south. I am going to go for New Mexico, but with this army... Do I send you guys down to hit New Andalus Andalusia? I mean, it's not drop their men off. Yes. I mean, deploy your troops. Okay, they're not deploying their men, so what I want to do is sail them. Okay, sell them to Trinidad. I need to land them. Well, I don't know why it's not. Normally, it's not too terrible. But I didn't want my army to be caught out at sea. I guess it's movement of this this army, I suppose. I didn't want them to be caught out at sea with the, with an army on board, especially as they are only just a sloop. So the army's down here. Do a bit of replenishment. Should have built a port here, really. Okay. Army over here. So you've got some, you're still doing your recruitment thing, so I can't really do anything with you yet. Ah, oh, nuts, I didn't move those ships. See how well they do. Nope, there they go. I thought France thinks attacking me is a good idea when they've got Spain on their doorstep that's looking to annihilate them. Aha, we lured a Spanish navy up from the south to free up their ports. Have indeed, it's not a very good fleet. The fleet is so we sunk two of theirs before we were captured. Disaster. Okay, my home fleet is going to go block in that fleet <laughs> because they've... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, suddenly naval... The naval aspect... Oh, no, not Vilnius. Right, okay. 
Ooh, things getting a bit spicy now. I need to recruit more ships in the channel. Thankfully not necessarily big ones, because the Spanish Navy isn't super strong. Not super, super strong yet. But what I don't want to do is to let them gain momentum. So my home fleet is going to blockade the Havre, because that's where their fleet is based. And if they sail out, they will be destroyed. Those sick rates I recruited, hopefully, will be strong enough to sail around and attack the Spanish ship that's, open, that's uh, blockading Bristol. And then we'll be on. I mean, I wish someone would destroy the Barbary States, because this is just getting excruciating, watching them sail ship after ship after ship after ship after ship individually to all the trade lines. Especially when collectively they don't really do anything. But yeah, blockading that port is got is a strategic priority because it could allow the Spanish to deploy that very elite army to our shores. So Bristol is blockaded by a fifth rate. Paloma, Indiana, which was then re recruited from somewhere else. So I might even deploy. Okay, they don't. They can't stop me from getting these ships out of Portsmouth. So you go there. These ships blockade La Havre. Let's get another militia unit to occupy this port. Although it's probably not necessarily needed. So let's say all these three sticks, six to go gang rate, to go gang up. I was about to say something else, something else there. Holy hell. Let's go and attack Paloma, Indiana. I mean, we've got our own Paloma, Indiana. Let's go and, I mean, I know it's the end of the episode, but let's do a little bit of war fighting. So the idea is to surround and engage. Okay, good. We're... So, surround, dismast, capture. That's the end goal here. And we've got plenty of ships. I mean, obviously she's got, whoa, she's got more guns than we do, but we can outnumber her and fire from multiple directions. And really, I need to do little things like this to help bolster my own small fleet. And I know you guys are probably sat there going, do not fire grape shot. And I'm sat there going, I can't help it. Not grape shot, chain shot. So pretty much I am speeding up time to just get... There we go. Paloma, Indiana. No, come on, keep going. Get ahead of her. Get ahead of her. Cut over cut in front. I hate how it doesn't automatically give my give my ships orders to sail it. Full sail anyway. Okay, let's spill the wind from your sails. This is not going to be great, but I want her to get in front of me.
No, this is not going to go well. You're going the wrong way. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, insurgent. Okay, you are going to get into a turning fight. Just keep... You just keep firing from the stern. You keep sailing south. Don't stop. All I want Formidable to do is to just hold her up. What I want to do is knock out a sail. Or knock out a mast. This is not going to go very well. So you're firing round shot from distance. T turn on a dime. Well, hopefully on a dime. Okay, now she's sailing. Now she's she's pointing. She's going to be sailing into the wind. I don't really want to be... Okay, let's switch you guys across, because you're more likely to go over here, and I want you guys to be ready over the, on the left. I just want to knock out some sails, knock out some masts, and then she's ours. Try to stay ahead of her. Come on. Got to pend in against the wreck of that ship. To be honest, I probably should just be firing round shot. It's clearly not working. Insurgent out in the out in the distance can keep firing round shot. some point there we are going to lose control over where she goes because right now we've got her boxed in okay she's pivoting so let's just start hammering her with our own let's drop anchor for now insurgent keep firing from range Come on, lads. S 
stop her from being able to get through this gap. Or if we do, make sure we've always got our nose ahead of her. Okay, let's get you out of here. Before she loads up again. You can take a bit of a pummeling. It's these guys that are a bit upset. Ooh, routing. Capture that ship. Look at her turn on a dime. Beautiful. Ooh, that was dodgy. <laughs> Just goes to show, when I say I need ab absolutely overwhelming naval superiority, I need it. But there we go. Our fifth rate is ours. Get into port. Let's do some repairs. Can't recruit anything of value. The Russians are now on pushing on multiple fronts. We've got multiple armies coming after us. If I... Okay, if, 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 if. To be honest, just maintain the offensive here. Riga... Mm. Can't push up and defend the crossing. So we are going to get... Oh, I nearly moved people. We are going to see some raids then. Get these clansmen over to Vilnius. New roads have been built across the board. Well, not across the board, but most of the places. So you can't... Wait, can you now do stuff? Yes. Sweet, we're going to attack San Jose de Orona at Trinidad and Tobago. But we're looking at the timer, I think that's time for the end of the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with the capture of the pirate, this pirate territory, and potentially the end of the pirates, which would be pretty neat. Radio, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed. Cheers.